Assalamu alaikum. Today we'll talk about something different. You might see videos on scheduling and planning for projects, but never myself actually uh, seeing any videos about portfolio management for big planning for big projects and different projects in one place as a portfolio. One of them is the government planning for schools highways, roads, anything. They have thousands of projects every year and they have thousands of projects for the next 10, 20 years, hundred thousands even, not just one. And it's a very big, difficult stage for them to do it. Now, most of the countries, we will say, they have already some sort of infrastructure. Development countries, they might have, they might not. However, I'm trying here to, to explain and give some guidelines and methods on how to do it for planning of uh, major highways and secondary roads uh, between main cities. And this is a, just a pilot example, you know, a small one, and it can apply to the big picture. However, you can't deal with 100 projects or 1,000 projects or 2,000 or 10,000 projects at once. You have to highlight a group by group by group within certain criteria to develop a plan and prioritize your projects and how much it will cost you and when you can do them. And this is the main uh, ultimate target of what we do here is putting a plan, a master plan for these highways and roads we will do and when we can do them and how much it will cost so the government can provide five years, 10 years and 15 years and even 25 years and 50 years planning for those roads. Roads are crucial for the development of the countries. It limits the people movement between cities. It provides them access to services more. So I think it's first priority for any government to have these roads and highways built in the right way so they can uh, get the economical benefits out of it. So in this example, we have the capital C1 and we have major cities. And here we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So seven cities around as main cities, just seven. And these cities might be within governorates, whatever zone or area they are in, this is the major ones to connect to the capital. Now the capital is in the middle, as an example. And it has two border points here, and the other cities links to each other. Of course, the maps and the location, it might be the uh, correct one, but this is just a demonstration to give you the understanding of what we are dealing with here. So we have borders, two points, and we have port. Now, what is the criteria and strategy to build these roads as a priority for, for, for all of us? Of course, linking the capital to all cities. This is number one. Linking the capital to the port and to the borders. Linking all cities to the borders and to the port. Now there is different options, of course. However, we talk about limited budget. So we are trying to, to take a decision on the most economic viable decision that it minimizes cost and gives services as soon as possible. So let us start linking all the cities with the government. Let me go to the government, of course, <laughs> centralized in the capital, okay? So we go for step by step. We go link C1 and C2, okay? Let's take this one and give them coding for these roads, okay? Now this one will be, yeah, the, I will keep the same color or this one actually, okay? Now let's do the main connections actually, the highlight urgent ones, the first prioritizing things, which I will make it red. 
and say the city with the part it needs a good highway okay it's number one the capital city with with the border one okay prioritize number two also the capital to the border okay then we need another one between the capital and the other cities and let's make this here this color let's make it more okay clear and another one between this and this city and another one of course this planning this is just a simple one you will get a very simple excel sheet including hundred projects or thousands of projects and you need to connect between them and you need to prioritize them and if you do prioritizing without mapping you are doing wrong so we are talking about strategic planning and how to do uh, this plans in the right way so you have to classify your projects about main uh, highway first prioritizing between capital and other ones so the first stage is a big grading of course there will be different uh, roads maybe with low standards or uh, you know uh, sort of roads between the capital and the other cities definitely there is roads but what level are they what surface they have so we need a highway we need highway between the city and the port so that traffic uh, and the trucks can move easily so we need high level uh, highway here between the capital and the port and the capital and the borders this is the first things so we need big highways and we need to upgrade these highways so that economical benefits realizations will benefit the overall economy to allow to fund the other projects the other roads the other roads there is some roads but not high standards so the first prioritize priority for us is to have a highway here whatever the cost is we have to do the highways so this is number one number two will be linking the cities with with the other ports if you if you see here i put this one as a low prioritizing not high prioritizing because this links to borders which is more important than the border here now this border might be for us a small country which has no strong economic benefits and relationship with that country for example so we don't have this high prioritized or high traffic uh, of trucks here however we have it here okay but we still have needed as a second stage so the first stage will go for this road and let's call it one and then two and then three okay then we go for this one as number four and then we go five six seven as uh, the third stage now it depends on the level of funding here then this, the next stage will be linking the cities with each other directly now they might have a, a small roads they might not have a road at all because the mountains or whatever uh, terrains we have but let's do it like this and let's make it uh, round here so and another one now this one become also very important from the size of the city if the circle it's big than the others and to have access to the border it becomes also important prioritizing for this city so what we have to do is also transfer this one to red okay now all the cities can link to the port through the roads to the capital to the central city that's okay even this one here can go like this okay but in the second stage we might go and say okay we need a link here and the color here it's brown it's the third stage or fourth stage in this uh, planning for prioritizing the the roads here and this one too now 
depends on the economic benefit of this road. We might say, okay, this is the one we go for, and that's it. Or this one to go for as a direct one. Okay? Or we might say, not this one and not this one like this, depends on whatever they have. And we go remove this. And let's do another one, replacing this both of them. Okay? And I will link it to this one in this way. Of course, we have another software to do this and a better software. Okay? To do this, but I'm do trying to do something simple here. Okay? And I do the road like this. And then putting the road like this. Now, this one become red. Okay? And this part should be also red. Okay, so we can go here and do it red. It will be a little bit messy, sorry. So let's do it like, ah, sorry, not this one. Not the brush. Um, it's the lines. Okay. Okay, so this one should be red also. Okay, so Rather than doing a link to the uh, to the capital like this, we do this road like this, and then one this one can be done anytime to the port, and it can be linked like this and going back like this. So we are saving some uh, uh, distance here. Okay. Th of course, this one will be the shortest one, but again, we can do it in the next stage. So, this is still there as a second stage, or third or fifth stage, actually. And I'll do it like this, so this is, can be done later on. So, we are saving this yellow one by doing this one here extra, and then doing this in the second stage immediately. Of course, they can continue like this and go to this, whatever roads they have here, and then go back to this without doing this extra one. This is, can be done also. But the most economic one, of course, for this both cities, it can be the shortest one, which is just direct from city to city. But this is, can be in another stage. But again, all this depends on the trains and you know obstacles in the roads. So if we consider that there is no obstacles, this is yes, we go like this, we go this road to the capital, and then they turn back from this road and finish. And this will save us some money. Similar to this case here, these two cities, Rather than ha having these two roads, we just go and make a line from here to here, okay? And just make it like this, okay? And uh, let's make it also red and make another one. From here to here. This can replace this two plus this link can replace these two lines here, two roads. Okay, so this one can be out and this one out, but again, this is again depends on the terrains. It's not just simple like this. If we consider that we are working in a desert, for example, yeah, that that will be good to do it. Okay, if we consider the trains are uh, everywhere are the same and we can move the roads like this, then this is the best option to go for without th doing this two uh, ye yellow one and red one here. Okay. And for this side, also, in the fourth stage, I will say, let's change the color, make it brown. These cities can be linked. Okay, depends on the budget or upgrading the existing roads, actually, I would say, because there is always a road somewhere, unless it's new development. Okay, and this one again. And this one and this one, because it is border and port, depends on the situation. Maybe this country in the left, they don't have a, a port, for example, maybe. Then this becomes very important economical uh, one to have it for, for, for uh, to, do, to serve 
the other country and of course this country will benefit from it as uh, you know toll roads or whatever cost and uh, taxes and uh, other things they might get so it become very important to have it here and again this one also it become very important and this solution can replace these two lines here so we can go and uh, let's remove this but again this is a stage let's not not remove it this is a stage this blue line is a stage in the future we can do it and also this brown one it's a stage so how many roads now as 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 as, as a planning of this overall uh, map between capital and cities we need roads how many let's calculate now one and this small part is two and this is considered one so two three three this one three then four this five and six and seven and eight so we have eight roads which we believe they are uh important or actually sorry less than that less than that will be one sorry will be this one capital to the border okay so this one the mean one this one we said we we can remove it actually let's remove it so no confusion because this is will be the best option to go for okay and let's remove this one also okay so we will have one two now this one can be replaced to a green but because we said this is very important economical uh, city it needs to have access to the border so one two three and four and five and six and seven so the first important stage is seven projects now depends on the fund an available fund and the cost of uh, estimated for this project we can uh, divide their cost to do this projects uh, immediately now it depends on the budget let's assume that we have what we call it a 90 percent to cover all this red projects in the first year however because we know that these roads also take long time to go, we need also to start it somehow in stages. So we'll start stage number one for 50 kilometers, for example, or whatever kilometers is there for these roads. So the big grade will start uh, in the similar way. Now, the, 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 the lines we, we removed it might be the existing one which is still working and this one will be really a total new one so you can start here immediately without disturbing the current traffic so this will go immediately definitely because it will not disturb the traffic similar to this one here however this yellow one will disturb the traffic and it need a very good uh, work if it is upgraded here it's a must with the same one and here it's a must for the same one and here it's a must with the same one so they become here more critical to plan and start work without uh, disturbing the traffic and it will take long time to do so their budget can be distributed for the other ones we know that we can't do it in, a, uh, in one year or two years because of the traffic so it might take two three years or four years to finish all of them because they are working in existing roads and this is another criteria to think about so stretching this construction period will stretch the cash flow and this will give us some money to start this one here which is in a, a, a what you call it a, a, an area which is not this uh, loaded and no no traffic so this one can go immediately and it will help a lot okay so this one can go immediately they will release the traffic here and this one will be for local traffic and this one will be for local traffic but this one as a highway will be for trucks and uh, high speed uh, roads as a highway standards and similar to this one here so we go for this one in the first year and this one in the first year and this one in the first year because it's very critical okay however this needs a high uh, intention on construction because it disturbs the current 
uh, current traffic. Now, let me think about something. See this this link here as an uh, as a link between this city and the, the capital. Actually, we can think about something different, which is because we don't want to touch the existing roads. It's really heavy traffic. We can go for actually a parallel road. Okay, like this. From the city, let me do a third line, a three points line is better. Okay, to the city and link it like this. This will stretch the, the, the time a little bit, but it's still accepted. Okay, and this one, rather than having this one as a, a priority uh, in this year, we can link. The road like this, okay, and then the traffic will turn to the capital, okay, and and this one it will not be required, okay, and of course this still uh, still local traffic here still there, but this is the highway, okay. This might be even extend to the middle here, so that it will be shortened both of them. But this is still important. This is important to go for, okay, as a highway between capital and the port, and a needed high standard uh, highway. And this one we keep it as a local road. We can keep it as a local road, not red color. Let's give it different color. And let's make it brown so now we define what we call it the first priority based on location based on location and needs and criteria so we are not going yet to do this in, in primavera appm we are still here looking the first priority from location perspective and strategic needs of the economy of course you will have numbers We'll have a statistics. We have a lot of things, but simple map in a simple drawing can give us a good idea what's needed. As we said, this city, for example, has important economical benefits. So we give it priority to, to work with because it will export a lot of uh, mate uh, material or products. Okay. So we have it here. Now, this city will have access to the port, other port through the capital, and it goes like this now the other ones as second priority so first stage priority for us will be between c1 c3 c4 c5 and c6 and c7 c8 and c2 still not that important to link it or upgrade the existing roads however we can't ignore their needs so we have to include so, some of budget to start at least developing it within a time frame so we stage this development here in the first stage and we go, let's say, say this part will be upgraded also with them in the first stage. Okay. And also this part, sorry. And this part also will be upgraded in this stage. Okay. Now, we created the first stage plan, and this road, of course, will go for two, three, four years. Depends on how long, how what difficult situation they have, uh, maybe mountains, maybe tunnels, it depends. So, this is the first stage for us. Second stage will be the upgrade of these yellow lines. Okay. So this is the second stage for, for, for them. And so the first year will start all the red at once and they have their enough budget. Second year, 
Some of this budget will be done, of course, in this uh, roads and still required for the other sections. It might be two years, three years. And we'll start with the second stage for roads between C1 and C8 and C1 and C2. Okay, now this one between C1 and C5 will need minimum uh, maintenance unless, uh, because it's local traffic, unless these roads here have a tour gates. If we have tour gates here, it's obligations and responsibility to upgrade this road to better standards between C1 and C5 because there is a toll gates here, for example. So this one has to have also good standards. So we define the first stage, second stage, and then third stage will be the brown one and also this blue color here. We said we might do it, we might not. But this one in the end, because we still have a road here, it's a long distance. But if we have in the future plans to develop these areas more, we need to do this. Now, of course, all these links depends on the population and the different conditions. As we said, we have the just concentrating about uh, the best planning for these roads as alternatives. We are, we are not considering other criteria. We might have, you know. Uh, populations and the uh, existing roads which ne they need services more also so we are uh, obliged or must to upgrade the roads because we are servicing the people but here economical benefits for this is to facilitate the export and import between the capital and the other cities as material transportation and the local roads will serve the people normally so here we looked at this and we, we, we can start make this as first stage give this roads numbers and after we give them numbers we start building them uh, in the primavera and start monitoring them with the cash flow now as we said there is limited budgets and when we go for this we have to distribute this limited budget within the year after year after year to really monitor this plan will go as we want it. Now, this is the first stage only in early planning. You know, you might get a report with a lot of information, a lot of tables, a lot of statistics. If we will not transfer it into forms like this and drawings, you will not really understand fully what is there. So. We got this one and we need to transform it into enterprise project portfolio management and start monitoring this cash flow and the execution of this project and the allocation of budget and resources. This stage is just a very important stage, but it is not crucial also like the planning later on because you plan this one and the plan change for whatever reason after one year or two years. You might have, you know, a criteria, a new criteria telling you this part become very important, okay, with this city and we need to upgrade this one and we have to reallocate or create a new budget. So it's not just the planning to understand the prioritizing and uh, the stage, but also what happened next. Now, this is a highlight of centers of governance, governance uh, somewhere there and there. There is maybe small cities around here and villages and whatever, and they need roads also between them. Here, if we go inside this one as a governorate, we might have, you know, still different location, uh, different roads to connect to. But this is a high level example as a pilot one to how to think about it. And then as you go zoom in in every area, then there is different roads. And here what comes as APPM, it gives you the location cost, which is very important. So this cost is a highway, uh, and we consider it a vid, for example, federal, federal distribution or central distribution between the all uh, cities or areas or states or whatever. However, if you go inside each one, you might have here a lot of villages or towns, and you need to connect to. Also inside this center, after the center and this governance, we, we need a lot of connections. But this is the high level. And as much as you go zoom in, you will find more. So 
let's see how we can distribute this budget between the different cities. Maybe they are contributing from their you know, taxes also uh, with the capital and the federal government giving and also the local government are just, uh, having their share. So we will divide this budget by location for the central ones and it benefits all of them after all. Then this part, for example, it will be between CTC2 and C3, but the government, the overall uh, central one will have their share and the other ones will have a small share too. So let's see how it goes. Let's see how Primavera can reflect this planning into data which can help and reflect the same with more insights on cost per location and the execution of this project and how much it impact every city and every location. That was video number one. Number two will be creating the schedules and uh, looking at what we are what we have. Now in the next video I will just show you how I create the schedule without really creating the schedule itself because it's part I mean it's it's another training to create schedules and do this. But it's after all I will reflect this map in a schedule and tell you this is the schedule comparing to this planning. Because this is a challenge to us in planning uh, and planners and schedulers. After you get this urban planning or town planning or master planning from the different departments, it's very important to reflect it into schedule to follow the same, distribute the same data, and uh, showing the benefits of uh, portfolio management and distribution of budget and uh, resources for the different locations. That is Ziad al-Basir. If you have any question, please uh, put it in the comment. And please subscribe to receive the other videos when we, we publish them. Thank you very much. See you.